Hi, you're watching Movie Guide. I'm your host, Evie Bear Carroll with your Now News. This new documentary is trying to twist history of the pro-life movement. I'm gonna tell you more now. This video is sponsored by our friends at Fellowship Home Loans. First of all, Roe vs. Wade, we all have heard of the case, but what about the people in the aftermath? Roe was really Norma McCorvey, who was given the name Jane Roe during the case for her identity purposes, obviously. When she was pregnant for the third time, she wanted to abort the baby in Texas. She met with lawyers who she later said pushed her, and she didn't realize it would be this big of a matter. Later in 1987, she revealed that she lied for the case, that she had been raped. These lawyers were looking for women who wanted to get abortions and Norma was one of those women. Never did she attend the trials and she even had her baby and gave it up for adoption as the trials went on. And as we know, Roe v. Wade changed history and allowed women to have abortions without government restrictions. Afterwards, Norma, aka Roe, continued the pro-choice cause, starting the Jane Roe Foundation with her partner, who was female, who she was in a relationship with. She then wrote an autobiography that she told the reporter she was high on cocaine, Valium, and pot as she wrote this autobiography about pro-choice. But guess what? This is where the good news comes in. In 1995, God got her heart and Nora became a Christian. She became pro-life, renounced her homosexuality, started two more foundations, and wrote another book. She said when she became a Christian, it was incredible. I felt all warm inside. How this ties into entertainment news, I'm gonna tell you now, a new documentary called AK Jane Rowe implies that she became pro-life for the money. I can assure you, I do not work for a nonprofit for the money of it. In fact, I live with my parents to save money and the side of pro-churches have tax dollars funding them. So where's the money at? Flip Bonham, who baptized Norma said this, we never paid Miss Norma a penny. We certainly helped Ms. Norma and Ms. Connie Gonzalez, her lesbian partner at the time, to get back on their feet after the owner and abortionist at A Choice for Women fired them. They had no source of income. Many in our group would donate to help them get along. But we did this for all the abortion mill employees who quit their jobs and trusted Jesus. We would help them find work, find church homes, take care of their kids. Whatever we could do for them, we did. We also did this for abortion-minded mothers who desperately needed help. We took care of them. This is what Christians do. We still do this to this day. Benham released this in a press conference. If the documentary makes the case that she was in it for the pro-life fame, well, that also doesn't make sense. She was literally the most known advocate for pro-choice. Why in the world, if she wasn't actually transformed by the power of Jesus, would she move from being the most well-known pro-choicer to pro-life? Literally only because the power of Jesus and his transformational power in her heart. McCorvey herself told the New York Times in 1994 how miserable she was as an abortion advocate. Pro-abortion attorney Sarah Weddington saw the cuts on my wrist, my swollen eyes from crying, the miserable person sitting across from her, and she knew she had a patsy. She knew I wouldn't go outside of the realm of her and Linda. I was too scared. It was one of the most hideous times of my life. What I'm saying is the documentary is not telling the truth. And we need to remember that every piece of media has their own bias, even documentaries. And go back to the truth, research the truth, look at our website, check out what's true and what's beautiful out there in the media that you can consume with your family. I'm gonna take a moment to tell you more about our friends at Fellowship Home Loans. They're Christian, they're trustworthy, and they're good people. I'm gonna show you more now. And I also want to tell you about a section on Movie Guide that we have called Kids Corner. It's for mothers and parents that want to find wholesome content for their kids to watch. It's called Kids Corner. Kids.movieguide.org is what you go to and you find a whole curated list of programs. They're wholesome and they have good moral lessons to them. So consider becoming a reoccurring donor at Movie Guide to gain access to Kids Corner. Check out movieguide.org to find out entertainment that follows your values.